Okay, so some things I was noticing was the word us, roll or rolling, and then the word snap again, but this time it was on some slice pickles that said, oh snap on it, that you can get at like the deli at Walmart. And then I was noticing the word moments. I also saw a sign that said father-daughter dance. And then that led me to a video that I saw um, it was by Skate Life and it was called uh, Father Daughter Dance and they were roller skating. And I was like, okay, well this is the rolling thing, but they were also singing Lil John, um, snap your fingers. So there was the snap. But the purpose of me seeing that after hearing all those other things was that you have to work together with God. And when you don't, things just kind of feel like a hot mess for me it's I'm just like all over the place and I don't know what I'm doing because I'm not flowing with Jesus and I'll explain that more when I get into the dream and then um I woke up singing Firm Foundation by Maverick City which was really cool because I had only heard that song once before at this event at a church that I went to which really has its own crazy story on how that happened but I'll save that for another time and I'll get into the dream so in this dream and I had this not yesterday but the day before and or maybe it was early in the morning yesterday probably okay anyways regardless here's the dream I'm sitting at a table in my house and I'm filling out some paperwork for my house and all of a sudden the door knocks and some people walk in which I expected but I did not expect the amount of people coming into the house so it was two guys and then a whole crew of people and while I'm filling out this paperwork I'm saying like okay I fill this out can you look at it and one person looks at it and points at something and another person looks at it and points at something else and then I'm like okay well let me fix that and oh I see what you mean let me try to do that and then more and more people just keep showing up out of nowhere um I don't remember seeing a woman but I think it was mostly men but they were like like a construction crew it almost felt like and so they were like well let me look at this let me look at this and that just kept going on and my papers were getting disorganized and one paper fell on the floor which I don't know how because it was one table and it looked like it went through the table and I'm looking at it on the floor and I'm trying to show these people all the little things that they're pointing out okay well this is this and I'll I'll do that and then another guy is standing there to my left and he gets my attention he says hey I went um, in your crawl space and the foundation looks great it's like perfect but in the meantime these people are still like pointing at things and doing all these things to the paperwork no you have to do this and when I try to fix that and show them that I fix that or explain this piece no one is listening to me anymore it's just a whole bunch of people saying stuff and they're still talking they're still going on and on but I slink back like the guy from the Homer Simpson meme like in the grass I just I just scoot back and I sit on a couch and next to me on a couch is a man wearing some jeans and a blue shirt but I don't see his face but you know we're sitting there and he was like so what happened and I said well everybody was like pointing at this and I was trying to fix this and then I tried to say this and I tried to do this and I kept going and then I was like but then I got like hyper fixated on one thing and then I was starting to get like stuck and what was the word I used um shut down I was like I was starting to get shut down and you know you know I have ADHD and I have Asperger's and I just was stuck and then he was like so what so what else and I said I liked it better when I just talked to you and so the point of me sharing that is um, side note when I got diagnosed with ADHD I also got diagnosed with Asperger's syndrome which is weird because I don't um, not the syndrome is weird so don't misquote me but weird because I never I never really expected that but I don't feel any different from who I am. I'm just a weirdo, I guess. You know, that doesn't make me feel different. What's what's crazy is I hung more on the ADHD thing than I did 
Vazburgers thing. So it's not something that I often tell people. It's not something that I thought I'd share on here, but it was in the dream. And I was so hyper fixated and getting shut down on trying to listen to what everybody's saying and, and being like, okay, I need to do it this way. I need to do it this way. And this is the right way. And even though I've talked about this before, that doesn't mean that it, it fixed overnight. It's a process. You have to keep going to God with it. Like, okay, well, I'm still feeling a little bit of this. I'm still feeling a little bit of that. But I woke up this morning knowing that I was going to talk about that dream. But then God gave me something completely different he wants me to talk about before the darkness, which will be the video after this. And the verse he gave me for this it's going to use the word confidence, but I felt so good today. I felt good today, not trying to figure out how I was going to make everyone kind of happy with how I was delivering messages. Cause what matters is if I do what God is telling me to do. And when I know I'm doing what God is telling me to do, I feel more confident. I feel better and today I just feel better I've had a great morning I went to go have coffee with a friend and we do it every Tuesday and she even mentioned roller skating so I thought that was funny because of um, the roller skating thing that happened and you know I had my decaf coffee because I'm trying to cut back on caffeine I've done really good so far but people make mistakes or people and then I've said this before and I don't want to sound like just like I'm going to keep it going, keep it going because I really am feeling much better and I love that God meets you where you are with all the little things. It, he took me step by step to get me back to feeling how I was feeling because when you stop something, let's say a bad habit, it doesn't fix overnight for most people. I mean, if it does for you, that's amazing. I've had things that I've overcome without any problem, but confidence and self-esteem is something I've been struggling with my whole life and I'm again 41 so I've been struggling with it since elementary school all through these years and I wasn't going to overcome it in one video or two videos it's something that God works on with you and so don't feel like bad about it if you don't get it fixed in one go round with God just keep going with it like hey I, I still need a little bit of help because he's there for you to keep coming to him so that can help you step by step and I've said this in a previous video one morning I woke up and I heard the word one step because I was stuck in this depression and I was like what is wrong with me I don't know what this is I can't get this emotion I can't get out of this bed and it was just take one step and that's okay because one step forward is always some kind of improvement. So the verses I have to go with this are um, Luke 648, New International. They are like a man building a house, which is why all these people were like construction workers or like a house crew. And it says, who dug deep down and laid the foundation on rock. When a flood came and the torrent struck, that house, no, when a flood came, the torrent struck that house, but could not shake it because it was well built. My foundation is good, and I let myself be overwhelmed and frustrated and too worried, okay? I became too worried about all the things that people were saying, good things, bad things, all of it. I was just obsessed with reading the comments and I was like I don't know how to deal with this I don't know how to be like oh this is great and oh this hurt my feelings or oh I don't know what's going on I really didn't have that many that hurt my feelings anymore so I'm glad that I got over that it was more of a confidence thing for me at this point so just keep going to God with everything because step by step he will help you overcome it and getting back to the caffeine thing God had helped me overcome my caffeine addiction and I went a whole year without having any caffeine I drank decaf I stopped the energy drinks but somewhere in the last like six months I started chugging down Red Bulls and drinking triple shot espressos all over again and that literally like just did a number on me so starting over because it's okay 
I fell a little bit on that bad habit, but it's okay. I'm still going. Um, and the other verse I have is Matthew 10, 28. Do not be afraid of those who kill. Okay, I'm going to pause because I'm so distracted because the lady, the FedEx lady just came to the door and I was like, oh man, I'm sitting here recording and I'm already like, she's going to look at me like I'm a weirdo. Um, Matthew 10, 28, New International, do not be afraid of those who kill the body but cannot kill the soul. Rather, be afraid of the one who can destroy both soul and body in hell. And I forgot to mention it, but not last week, but the week before, this friend that I meet on Tuesdays for a Bible study, and we talk about how God influences our lives or how we're going, you know, checking in. Um, she had mentioned that song, the sticks and stones may break my bones, but words can never hurt me. And we had talked about, yeah, words hurt, but you have to lean on that. We don't have to fear man. We have to fear God. And then lastly, Proverbs 3:26 from my English standard version, it says, for the Lord will be your confidence and will keep your foot from being caught. So just always keep your focus on God and don't be like me and let little things distract you because just the one little things or those those couple of days that I was doing the darkness videos, man, I it felt like I couldn't like grasp anything. I was just so I can't explain it. It was like a whirlwind going around where I can't focus on the one thing because I was looking and being distracted. So again, I feel great today because I know that my focus is on God. So focus on God and not all the other things because God is what matters and he'll help you through. He'll be your confidence. So I'll be back with the next video, which I'm going to record right after this. So always find the light. Thanks. Bye.